In this video, I'll walk through an example of finding the mass and the center of mass of an object that has a non-uniform density. A specialized metal fitting used in satellite fabrication has a density that varies along its length according to the linear density function. Rho of x equals sine of 10x plus 1.35 kilograms per meter. The fitting is 75 centimeters long, Find the total mass of the fitting and the location of its center of mass. First of all, real quickly, this is just a graph of, of the density. So if our density if we have density rho, it starts out at 1.35 along this object, right? This this object at, at zero the meters along the object. The density starts out at 1.35 kilograms per meter, and then it follows the sine function. Um, it, the period uh, completes a period 10 times as fast because of this 10x, but in any event, it goes like this. Right? That's the density of the, of the object. So if I were to draw the object, and I don't know what it's going to look like, let's say it just looks like this. Just to make it simple, if that's the object, then the... Um, the density starts like this. It goes, starts a little bit dense and then gets very dense and then gets not as dense and then very dense and then not as dense. All right, so for whatever reason, the application that they're using that, uh, we have this, this property of this fitting where it gets more dense and then less dense. Now, let's answer the first question what is the total mass all right total mass let's circle that in green well the mass of an object equals the integral along its length so from 0 to 0.75 of its density function so of sine of 10x plus 1.35 and I could write the general form here you've probably already seen that in a book, but you came here to get further explanation. And so this is it. I could I could certainly write there, and I will. I'll write this is just rho of x dx, and it's the integral along the length of the object from 0 to the end point. Okay, so back to solving this. Uh, this, the antiderivative of sine of 10x is negative 1 tenth cosine of 10x and the antiderivative of 1.35 is 1.35x so now we have this to evaluate from 0 to 0.75 hey why am I doing 0.75 when it told us uh, 75 it's because the density is in meters and 75 centimeters equals 0.75 meters just in case you had that question, there we go. Solved it. Uh, Explain that for you. All right. So our mass equals negative one tenth cosine of ten times 0.75 plus 1.35 times 0.75 minus minus Remember, we have to use this, put in this zero here. And it's not, the whole thing's not going to be zero because we have a trigonometric function there. So minus um, negative one tenth cosine of 10 times zero, which is just going to be one, one times the negative one tenth plus 1.35 times zero. Good. All of this together not to waste your time let's just jump to it remember in radians you've got to evaluate this stuff in radians in calculus so um, when we do the trig functions so this mass comes to 1.078 kilograms and I've rounded to the nearest thousandth there all right we've got that answered next one what is its center of mass? Center of mass so along this, so from 0 to 75 centimeters. Where along this could we put something to balance it? That's what we mean by the center of mass. Okay, the center of mass 
equals this function, this 0 to L, where L is the length of the, um, of the object, multiply, or the integral of rho of x times x dx. So in our example, that will equal from 0 to 0.75 of sine of 10x plus 1.35x multiplied by x dx all over this is this is all over the mass so we have we have this integral and then divided by the mass so this one I'm going to jump to this I am, I'm not going to uh, waste your time with with solving this integral but I'll tell you that the antiderivative if I multiplied x through and then I would I would integrate this by um, integration by parts so in case you want to do it on your own it does work out choose x as as your u and and then sign 10x dx as your dv and you can integrate that by parts but then the antiderivative comes to negative x over 10 cosine of 10x plus 1 over 100 sine of 10x plus 1.35 divided by 2 times x squared. And all of this is evaluated from 0 to 0.75. And again with this, remember, the 0.75, everyone always remembers that the top number, plug everything in. But don't disregard this 0, because remember with this trig function, you might have something show up when you plug in 0. Of course, in this case, you don't because you've got a zero here, and sine of zero is just zero. But always plug it in so that you, uh, or at least verify that you, um, what you would get if you did plug in the zero. Okay, the answer there is um, just this integral. I'll divide by m then. The center equals 0 0.3. 6307 divided by the m, so that is 0 0.36307 divided by the 1.078, and that comes to a center of mass at 0.337 meters. We're doing all in meters here. Well, let's bring that to centimeters. 33.7 centimeters. So that is our center of mass. So I would measure from from the um, the left point, say, of the object, 33.7 centimeters, and and that gives us our center of mass. So you could put something there and, and balance that, if you will.